Canadian fans, Jared Schaffern here with Alex Owens. We're in Ontario and we're doing some hockey skills today. Now, Alex, I know how to skate. I, I've played hockey before, but it's been a little while. So we're gonna uh, start this series off. There's gonna be a few different videos with some skills. We're gonna start off with skating and you know, again, I, I know how to skate, but I might need some, some tips here, refreshers. We'll get you going, yeah. All right, dude, um, we're gonna get started here with a little bit of skating. Uh, we'll see what you got. We're going to start with the inside edges, getting our posture started, getting our feet underneath us here. Um, and first thing we're going to do, inside edges only, we're kind of making big teardrops. We're going to push out and bring them back together all the way down the ice. Let's see it. Good. <laughs> so the next progression from here yeah. um, is basically just doing one foot at a time. So you don't see a lot of hockey games where we're skating around with both feet at the same time. Um, so we want to start isolating our feet. So we're going to get nice and low and we're just going to do one foot at a time. So we have one foot that's guiding us, going to kind of glide straight ahead and the other foot's going to be pushing back. Some people call this a C cut. Um, generally, you're doing this. If you do a true C, you're going to stop and come back into yourself. So I like to call it more of a J cut. You're going to push back behind you about 45 degrees. And then you bring your toes back together. You push back and together and back and together. So if you're putting too much weight on your guiding foot here, as soon as you get to that maximum extension, you're gonna kinda wanna fall off and drag your That's toe. That's what's happening, yeah. Okay. So instead of that, we'll put a little more weight here, take some weight off of this one, and that's gonna allow you to bring that foot all the way back together, get a full extension and a full recovery, and feel a little more steady. Let's try it one more time. Okay. Stick is down. Stick on the ice, point, basically you're gonna trace a line in the ice in the direction you wanna go, and you're just gonna follow that stick. We're getting there, we're getting more confident. Getting more confident. That's good. More weight on this foot could, I'll be a little bit. Right, maybe more confident on that okay, one. So try yeah, it. try the other side. Bend those knees a lot, drop that hip, and think of that butt bone going into the ice. Ooh. Ah, that last one. It's getting better. Well, probably because I'm a lefty, right? So he's learning. Perfect. All right, so now that we have worked both feet together, one foot at a time, now we're gonna put it all together and start picking up our feet and making an actual hockey stride. So our same starting point here, but now when we get to that maximum extension, now we're gonna pick up our feet and we're gonna drive all the way through. Keep that stick on the ice, check in on your posture. He's flying, he's flying. Now just. Last little pointer for you. When we're skating here, we want to keep our stick on the ice. When yep. we have our two hands on our stick, yep. we tend to start kind of pitching hay, yep. and our arms and our shoulders come up. So if we can keep them down, okay. now we're all moving forward together. Let's see it. I like it. I'm going faster. We're going faster. <laughs> Well, All right. what do you think? A lot to work on there, but uh, I think great. I'm, I'm tired out for one day, so that's probably enough for now. Fair enough.